Phobia herd is sometimes called asthma plant. Locally known as Tawadawa. Bruto Budonesan. Mala Gutis. Gatus Gutasan. And Mangago. Has. Been used in the Philippines as early as 1948 for treating fever. Since the 1980s, it has also been used for sore eyes, cough, diabetes, dengue, malaria, gastritis, and diarrhea. Euphorbia herta is a pantropical weed, originating from the tropical regions of the Americas. It is a hairy herb that grows in open grasslands, roadsides and pathways. This erect or prostrate annual herb can grow up to 60 centimeters long with a solid, hairy stem that produces an abundant white latex. There are stipules present. The leaves are simple, elliptical, hairy on both upper and lower surfaces, but particularly on the veins and the lower leaf surface, and with a finely dentate margin. Leaves occur in opposite pairs on the stem. The flowers are unisexual and found in axillary stems at each leaf node. They lack petals and are generally on a stalk. The fruit is a capsule with three valves and produces tiny, oblong, four-sided red seeds. It has a white or brown taproot. It is widely used in traditional herbal medicine across many cultures, particularly for asthma, skin ailments, and hypertension. It is also consumed in herbal tea form as folk medicine for fevers in the Philippines, where it is known as Tawa Tawa, particularly for dengue fever and malaria. Medicinal uses of Euphorbia herta. Euphorbia herta is known to the respondents as Tawa Tawa, Bruto Bruto Nesson, Gaudis Gaudis, and Mangagal. The earliest reported use of Euphorbia herta was in the 1940s for fever, then in the 1980s for dengue fever, other fevers, and conjunctivitis, and then in the 2000s for diabetes and typhoid fever. Euphorbia herta medicinal uses reported date and usage by participants for fever with eight number of participants who reported usage equivalent to 21%. 1948 is the earliest reported date of usage for dengue, with 17 number of participants who reported usage equivalent to 46%. 1980 is the earliest reported date of usage for malaria, with six number of participants who reported usage equivalent to 16%. 1980 is the earliest reported date of usage for conjunctivitis. With four number of participants who reported usage equivalent to 11%. 1980 is the earliest reported date of usage for diabetes with one number of participants who reported usage equivalent to 3%. 2012 is the earliest reported date of usage for typhoid fever, with one number of participants who reported usage equivalent to 3%. 2003 is the earliest reported date of usage. Reported preparations of euphorbia herd for medicinal purposes. Decoction for treating dengue, malaria, fever, and typhoid fever. Preparation using whole plant. Remove the roots. Wash in water. Boil in 3-5 cups of water for 5 minutes. Let cool before drinking. Give 1-2 cups per day for 2-3 days. Stop administration once any side effect is noted. Preparation using leaves. Take a handful of leaves. Wash in water. Boil in 1 cup of water for 3 minutes or until the concoction becomes blackish green. Let cool before drinking. 
preparation using roots. Take the roots. Wash thoroughly. Boil in water. Let cool before drinking. Preparation using direct application of sap for conjunctivitis. Take the stem of the plant and wash thoroughly. Squeeze the latex directly into the affected eye once a day for three days. Preparation using decoction in combination with other herbs for diabetes. Boil the whole plant together with banaba and bolete leaves. Let cool. Drink. Juice extraction of macerated plants for gastritis and diarrhea. Take a handful of leaves. Wash thoroughly and crush macerate in a clean container. Extract the juice. Give to patient 2x a week on full stomach. Euphorbia herta, locally known as Tawadua. Bruto Budonesan. Mala Gaudis. Gaudis Gertasan and mangago has been used in the Philippines as early as 1948 for treating fever. Since the 1980s, it has also been used for sore eyes, cough, diabetes, dengue, malaria, gastritis, and diarrhea. There are no documented contraindications for use and the only known side effect is increase in urinary frequency. Based on the sampling of this study, therefore, at the current time, according to Department of Health, Administrative Order No. 184 Series of 2004, Euphorbia herta may qualify to be registered with the Food and Drug Administration as a traditionally used herbal product for fever. However, this study has not found sufficient length of time with traditional use for the treatment of conjunctivitis, cough, diabetes, and dengue, as well as malaria, gastritis, and diarrhea. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think, and if you are new to this channel don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be updated to our new video.